Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Bitcoin report for Wednesday, November the 3rd. And just starting with the crypto index here and basically Ethereum and Bitcoin are on the same path. Um, uh, when we look at the the cross, the ETH bit cross, um, ETH is leading uh, a little bit in that regard. So it will range out a little more. Um, but generally speaking, they're both on the same count, and I can see that in this uh, index here. They're both looking at the same count. So we've got wave one over here and wave two here. And then we're looking for five waves up here for wave one and back for wave two and then up for wave three at that point, which will be much further up. So from here, we're looking at one and two and three and four and then one and two and three and four and five, four, one. And then the ABC pattern over here for that. So that's how it is. I mean, this is a medium level here at 25. So we're going to see the wave one and two and the, the whole dance across here. Another way to view this is the classic trading levels pattern. So that would be the arrival here, the arrival, the reaction. We're looking at the first high here. So normally in this particular pattern, as I mentioned before, this would be in Elliott terms, that would be wave three, four and five, and then the ABC correction, then wave one and two. This is the level across uh, here for that. So this is the medium level. Here. so this has been the same for most of them in that in that regard so here we've got the arrival the reaction then we're looking for the first high above the level in uh in, in an impulse wave and then the corrective move here now of course this wave two can pull back 61.8 percent of wave one so it could pull back a lower but um we'll see how that plays out let's look at uh, ethereum then bitcoin so with Ethereum here, we've got the same count with one and two over here, and then going all the way up here for wave one and two here. Okay, so uh, just going over this again, as one and two here, and three here, and four here, and then one and two and three and four and five, moving up into that space there. So we can see here that wave three still needs to move out here because we in this third wave here, we should be the longer should be longer than wave one we can see we've got wave one and two here and then going up for three and then there'll be four and then there'll be five here for that and then wave four and then wave five so uh, as i mentioned before the five thousand will and this will stretch out a bit further this will move this will move faster than bitcoin in this regard okay because i know that because of the eth bit cross uh pattern uh and also too is that once we've got support on the halfway mark here let's just bring in one of the levels between here so the 500 here number five is the second strongest number in the market after one and we're at the 500 there so uh it will do its little dance there and then move on uh the next level up here as well i won't go to the hourly chart on this one i'll just spend a bit more time on bitcoin i do need to do a bit of uh housework on that so uh so five and eight so the levels through from four from medium level well major levels are here so we've got 1000 2000 3000 5000 8000 so when we're talking thousands we're talking you know the power of 10 at that point medium levels halfway between two major levels and then here the minor levels are in here the next degree down so 100 200 and 300 and then five and then eight when we're dealing with eight um I think handling is probably a better word than dealing. Um, anyway, um, yeah, we've got group two in there. But anyway, that's where all that is. All pretty simple. No change in that. Um, yeah, fantastic trend. Um, confident in that particular wave count. Uh, easy money. I have to play that song. Um, let's uh, look at Bitcoin. This is the daily chart for Bitcoin. So we've got wave one here and wave two here, and then we're looking up at one and two and three and four, and then going up into five. Now, the 65 is a medium level, and it carries a bit of weight. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's halfway between 50 and 80. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna see a dance across here. As I've mentioned many times, that double tops are not the end of a trend. Uh, but at the same time, we could be, <clears throat> we could get ourselves into an expanded flat correction here. So once we get to this top here, <coughs> wave five of one, it could be the fact that just having this up here as a B wave up here and then a C wave over here, that is possible. 
I highly doubt it, but it is possible as an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave up here in five waves, 4B, and then we crash down. That is possible. Um, so the way that we'll handle that is we will be very diligent on uh, on on uh, on this move back down here. Now it will be a little bit scary um, once we top out here because the A wave normally comes down quite sharp, like here. You know, so there'll be some news event for for that. It will be be well, I don't know, I don't know what the news event will be, but it'll just be pinning the tail on the donkey, so to speak. But uh, a sharp A wave and hopefully a more uh, relaxed, lazy C wave to come into play at that point. But um, this will be a zigzag structure. That means a five three five structure for that. And uh, yeah, we just you know it's possible that it could come down at that you know much lower at that point. <clears throat> One of the other things here that we need to um, uh, understand is that well we could look at um, this structure here, couldn't we? We could take this low, this low, or that low. Let's just go between the two of them. It's not 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 a biggie and um, looking at that as wave one. So it's pulled back to the 61.8%. This wave two pulled back to the 61.8%. I know some folks have got this as wave one and two here and three and four here, and then going up for wave five. But for this to pull back, you know, 61.8%, rather than you know 40% uh, so I don't think that's the case for that particular count but uh, who knows it's a crazy old world isn't it anything is possible so <clears throat> we just got to stay flexible and uh, keep the attitude so uh, yeah what was I saying so back here if this one pull back 61.8% so if I take it to the top of green wave three here and just knock it up a notch or two let's just take it to 60 68 it's a good number <clears throat> it's not quite there but that would bring that back lower here wouldn't it you know so we have to be mindful of that we have to be mindful it's not going to be easy and and um so there's a couple of things that can happen here. Firstly, we get that sharp move down from wave A <clears throat> and everybody panics and everybody starts to talk about the big bear market coming back down to wave four here. So that will be, <clears throat> that will take a bit more centre stage. The other point here is that, well, the market could just pull back to, to you know, into here and here and here for the wave two and pull back deeper into the 50,000. So that's pretty scary as well. So we have to navigate all of that. Um, secondly, thirdly, rather, is that the wave two doesn't pull all the way back down into the 61.8%. And there's a good case for that. And the reason for that is that we'll be going into, when we think about it, we're going into this wave three up here. So we're going into, we're already in the third wave from wave two here to wave three here, but we'll be in the third of the third here. So it might be a very powerful point in the structure and it may not pull all the way back to the 50, 60% retracement level. It might just pull back to the 58 where there's good support. So there's a few things that can go on here. Um, but anyway, we'll be all over it, as always. Um, so let's move in now, now that we've discussed that. We've got wave three here and wave four here, and we're going up into wave five. So we have to count five waves up here. So let's do that. Go into the four hour chart to start with. So, <clears throat> One of the things here that we can look at, let's just open this up a little bit here further. So we had this nice ABC pattern through here. We had a spike, a spanner in the works here for that, messed the wave count up a little bit. Um, but I was philosophical about all of this and I know that it can be labelled differently with all of this. Uh, we've got five waves here, but we've got overlapping wave structures, so we could put wave one there and two there. We'll look at all that in a moment. But what I wanted to do here is, we don't need this thing there for the moment. Um, what I wanted to just sort of do here is that's, where's my ETH chart gone? Um, I did, there it is, that's what I want. You can see 
you can see here that this one here is moving off really quite nicely here. We've got wave one and two here and we're going up for three and four and five to finish the third wave off. So we've got one and two here and we're going into the third wave. Now in this case we've cleared the top here. We have with Bitcoin as well but this is just a little bit more chirpier. So we, we need to track this wave count and we also need to compare it to um, to to this wave count as well here. So this moving, this is a four hour chart. This is a four hour chart. So we can see it's taken the top of wave one out. And what I wanted yesterday when we spoke, um, we needed, to, well, if, firstly, we needed to take that one out. Then we could come down to this one and then we could come down to this one. So now we've, what the change is from yesterday is we've confirmed that we are in this trend to the upside here. OK, that was the important point that we were looking for yesterday. Um, but yeah, just comparing these two counts here, we can see I can see this one's a bit more sluggish uh, than this one. So and also on this one, too, we're using that top there as the wave one and this one here is wave two. So we could go and a, we could go we could go an ABC for the A wave and a B wave and a C wave. We could go an A wave and uh, an ABC for the B wave and down for C. It doesn't really matter. Um, so over here, we're using the same thing as well. So we want to be a bit philosophical about that. Um, yeah, but we're pushing up here, so we could probably look at this as one and two, and in here we'll dive in and have a closer look at this. We'll need to do some work on this. That should bounce back up at that point and head up into that space uh, there very shortly. Um, but yeah, just comparing the two of them at that point. Okay, so let's cruise over to the hourly chart. So with the hourly chart here <clears throat> and the tick chart, I'm still on the old count where I've got blue wave four here, but um, the proper count is the green wave four over here. Okay, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Um, that would be green wave three, green wave four here. Uh, we don't need that there. Um, but yeah, so in this case, we're looking for one and two here. I'll change it when I get some time. <clears throat> and one and two here. And then we've got to look at this here. So I'm just going to take a bit of a guess at this because of Ethereum's count. So we're still in that. I will check it out. Don't worry. But we're looking for that third wave there. And then we're looking for the fourth wave. And then we're looking for the fifth wave here. So I'll take it to 68. There's a, that's the most important number at that point. Um, so yeah, I'm one degree higher in this chart here. So I'm thinking we'll go to the tick chart and we'll check on this in a moment. But this is the kind of behavior that we'll be looking at at that point, looking for that top there at that point. So I'm just going to break this problem down a little bit further here. Sometimes I've got all this organized and sometimes I'm running late, so I just have to work, just do it on the hop. So um, yeah, that looks cool. Let's go to the tick chart and shape this up. So 100 ticks, we'll bring in a bit of data. How much data? So yeah. Okay, so so I've still got my blue wave four there, but that can be the green wave four. <laughs> and this could be counted in so many different ways, but we're just going to uh, we're just going to simplify it. and I'm simplifying it. That's how Ethereum is counted. Okay, so I know everybody's got different counts of this, and and like I said, when when, when this was going on, I go, oh my god, I thought you know I don't really understand this. So, but I do have experience, and I know that I don't wor worry about spikes too much. I know folks would like to 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 to, uh, to label them, and they could be right or wrong. But over the years, and. I've been doing this a few now. Um, I've seen, um, I, I tend not to worry about the noise too much. You know what I mean? I, 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 um, I just follow the money, follow the volume, stay on, on track and not to get sort of side swiped in all of this. But what we need to do here is we need to check on this. It's a little bit boring, but uh, so you don't need to hang around really for any of this. But, uh, yep and this little guy here so let's open this up a little bit now that's the actual low there but that just doesn't really give me 
doesn't really give it gives me three waves up there and five waves there so I'm going to go for that there <clears throat> and then I've got to look at this as I'm just going to I can see how it could be counted differently as well in that case so that means that that needs to go there let me just double check on this still one out Okay, got it. So that dude goes there. That's there and that's there. And that will give us one and two and three and four and five. A bit small on the way four. So we may have to play it. That's not right. That's there. That's there. That goes there. That should just pop up there shortly. And that will be there. <clears throat> I think that accounts for everything. You may be able to put that there. Look at it expanded flat. Um, but I, I need to check on that. But I won't burn up time for that. Doesn't really matter. You're still left with wave two there. Some people might put wave two over there too. Looking at that as a B wave. But I'll double check on that. Because this is uh, an ABC in there. There's another case for... In here but anyway no that's okay we'll anyway i'll fix that up a bit later um so how are we going for retracement stuff so that's good there so we're really on that 38.2 we could drop a bit lower here for that but then we're there and then we'll be to there and once we're there then we'll be back again some sort of corrective move back here for this wave four and then wave five to the upside I mean, we're one degree higher here, so sorry about that. But so we still need <clears throat> we'll still need a wave four after that, and then we'll also need uh, wave five up here to finish off, which will take us up. It could take us even higher to seventy or whatever. Um, this is always a good number here too. This. Um, 65 is a medium level and then the six this the next 65 number is in here which is the 66 500 so that's going to be important now 66 is important and 67 is important but i always find and they create tops and bottoms but it's this number here as a trader in terms of trade setups and other things finding the balance between those two in terms of what's going to happen next is 66 500 and then you could also use that as the lower end of group two. And then you would have six. Well, you got the eight there. So, you know, eight is always group two. So then you'll need your uh, 67,200, which will be the other point within that. So that's all of group two there. So we could probably just, I'm only doing all of this just for education kind of stuffy. Okay, so yeah, those those three there make up group two. So that, we'll get wave three in there somewhere and then we'll come back for wave four and then wave five up there and then that's it. And we're gonna have our larger correction here, hopefully. So just coming back to, um, to all of this and coming back to our four hour chart where we've got things still falling out of bed there a bit isn't it so medium level here 65,000 we have the arrival the reaction and we're looking for the first high above the level and then we'll have our ABC correction so in terms of um, this uh, normal pattern here uh, we've had the arrival we've had their reaction and we're kind of up here somewhere now so we need to finish that off and then we'll have our correction so our buying I won't buy on the low here because 
I want to be able to confirm that we're not in a bigger bear market coming down. We need to confirm the next trend to the upside. So we need a series of impulse waves on, on this. But the safe trade would be on the 60. If you had a bucket load and a barrel load of money, then you would want to, this is the correct entry over here. If you want to take on more risk, then we wait for the first impulse wave here and pull back and then we can move into this one uh, and then we can start building it in through here and we'll manage the exposure, the initial risk on this side. But this is the safe trade here, over here, because if the market moves up to the, technically this A, B, C here, taking the B wave out here would be technically the correct thing to do. But because this moves so far up on that level from here, from that price point to that price point above the 61.8%, then that would tell us that we're probably on the right track and we can, you know, start uh, working it in, in here. But we could get, you know, four little trades on into this point here before, before the real trade begins. But I also want to point out to you as well is that we've got wave two here. So we're in wave three, this wave three here, and um, and then we're into this wave three here as well. So this is the third of the third, and where I just mentioned before, this will be, this is what all the Elliott traders look for. This is the most optimum situation is here. So we look for the third of the third, of the third we can go at the third again in here as well we can really nail that down and we will just for the exercise of it <clears throat> um, if this is correct remember that there's also the bear market scenario that we need to knock on the head because we need to make a new high above here or at least the b wave at that point to confirm that we are going to go up to that point but what i want to point out is that if like we'll put a, a big would we don't have to be a big if we can just put a capital i for the if and then a normal f um but um if this is correct then this is really going to move along here the market's going to be very quick from from 65 to 80 we'll navigate 72s in here as well um but that won't be a big deal. None of this will be a big deal because of where we are in the structure. It's not like we're coming in. I would put more emphasis on, on 72 and, and, and a few other numbers in here if we had a wave four here and a wave, uh, wave three, four and five here. But that's not the case. We are in a situation where we can have a parabolic move from wave two, the third of the third of the third of the third in here. So, yeah, this is the trade that, that you need to focus. This is the one. <clears throat> this is the one in here, if it plays out. Anyway, uh, exciting stuff. I'll leave it at that. Thanks for uh, putting up with me, and uh, I'll check you next time. Cheers.